Hey Paul Shrieks, welcome back. I have my spring favorites for this year. There's a lot of new ones in here. There was a lot of really good spring collections this year and they knocked some of my old favorites out. I did tell myself to not go back and watch my old review that I did last year because I kind of wanted to see what I would pull in this year and see if they were different. Of course, I'm gonna have some that are the same, but I feel like I have a lot of new ones in here and a few old favorites. So I think you guys are really gonna like this video. Okay, so I have, I didn't even count. I know it's more than 40. It's probably going towards 50. I'm going to talk through them quickly. I kind of showed on my Instagram stories the process of how I do this and I go through and my Instagram and go back through my old spring collections in summer sometimes too and just see which ones catch my eye or which ones I remember that I loved and I'll kind of write those down and then I'll come down here and just kind of pull what catches my eye as I'm looking through my collections. Then I'll pull in a few old favorites. I found a few in here that I haven't talked about for a while and then I also look and see like what I'm kind of craving this year and so that that's kind of fun to see too. So it's a little bit different than my video last year. I kind of made myself not peek and look at that and see what I had. So I think I will have a few that are the same, but I feel like I have a lot of new ones because there's been some really great spring collections this year. I will link all the ones that I've talked about down below so you guys can get them. I think most of them are gonna be pretty easy to find. There might be a few that are a little bit harder to find, but I will link them where I find them. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. So this is Coastal Sanctuary. This came out from the Malibu Summer 2021 collection so last year and I fell in love with it. It's a beautiful beige. It's a perfect beige. It's a little bit bright though so I think it's so fun for spring and summer and I just wanted to pull it in again because it really was one of my favorites from that time. There's not much else to say about it. There is a lot of creams out there but it's one that I'm just really really loving right now. I think I'm really gonna love it for a long time so that is a really fantastic one. And then Orly Parks and Parcels and this is a beautiful one. This came out in the Impressions collection from this year and it's my favorite nude so far. It's a really beautiful rosy brown the formula is really great. It's going to be opaque in two coats. I just really like it on my skin tone. I do think as I get darker in the summer, I'm maybe not going to like it as much, but I think I'll really love it early spring when I'm not so tan because it gave me just a little bit of contrast, but it's just a beautiful nude with a great formula and I really enjoyed it. And then we're going to talk about shears. I was going to do a favorite shears polishes and I haven't gotten around to it yet. There's a lot that I really need to pick up. I don't have a ton, but I love to pull out like pink shears in the springtime. So these are the ones I'm going to talk about. I'm excited. This is a new one from Olive in June. This is Strawberry Scone. This is really beautiful. You want to do like four thin coats for this to build it up to be opaque, but it's this beautiful like cool toned pink with a little bit of white in it. And this came out from their new spring collection this year. I really love the collection this year. By the way, I have reviews to most of these collections that I'm talking about. I will try to link them all down below, but you can find them all on my YouTube channel. I have several reviews where I show comparisons and live swatches, which are really helpful in seeing what you might want to pick up. One trick about this, you're going to get bubbling if you don't wait long enough between coats. So I would wait at least 10 minutes. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but do it while you're watching a show at night. Give it a good 10 minutes so you can prevent that bubbling. I have seen this with a lot of shears with other companies as well. And I think that's the big issue when I have bubbling is because I'm kind of impatient. So just make sure you're doing that. But this is a beautiful shade. And then I have Inside Scoop. It's just a touch darker than the other one, but the same thing. It's like a cooler toned pink. I really love this one so much. It's probably my favorite pink shear. It is amazing. And I love to wear it in the springtime I always pull it out just like the other one you're going to want to do like four thin coats with this one and build it up to be a little bit more opaque if you like that look that's what I like and it's just so pretty and quite unique I love it and then I pulled out bodice goddess and this is from the 2018 sheer silhouettes collection and I had kind of forgotten about this one but it's beautiful it's the same as that pink one but it kind of has this purple mauve undertone it's a really beautiful sheer I kind of fell in love with it again I'm excited to wear it I think it's going to be really fun to wear it this springtime I think it's one that people don't really talk about and I kind of like those polishes that people don't really talk about because I like to make them kind of special when I like them a lot so this is a really fantastic one too so next we're going to talk about pinks. I have a wide range of pinks here and I have one from like basically each category and I love to wear pinks in springtime. Of the next five that I'm going to talk about, I will have a comparison shot that will come up so you guys can see the comparisons and I'll kind of talk through those so you can know the differences because there are just going to be slight differences in some, but I will let you know what I like about each one. So 
So this one is a nice, soft, light pink. It leans maybe a touch purple, but not too much. It's just a really nice, soft, rosy pink. It's called Bodice Goddess, and it's from the 2018 Timeless Tweeds collection. It's really beautiful and soft. It's a little bit crelly-ish, so it's gonna have that little bit of squishy look. And I think it's just gonna be fun for spring. I haven't pulled this out in a while, and I thought it kinda just caught my eye. And this is from the Flying Solo collection. I know I'm gonna get asked about Fiji and I've talked about that a lot on my page. That one, at least the newer version, is quite a bit darker and richer and I think I like that better for summer, especially with the contrast of my tan. Although I would wear this in the summer too. <laughs> but I like a little bit of softer pink in the springtime and so I picked this one over that one. But this one is just so beautiful. If you don't have it, you really need to go track it down. It is amazing. This is Backseat Besties and this is another beautiful pink. It is a little cooler to Tone, but it's slightly warmer and a little bit darker than that last one I talked about. It's more of a mid-tone pink. This one's special to my heart because I saw the reveal of this collection when I went to New York with Essie in 2017. So this is from the spring 2017 collection and it's just bright and beautiful. That whole collection is amazing and I have a review of that collection but this is just one that I have really loved for a long time. There's a lot of pinks out there but this one's really special to me. And then we have Racing for Pinks. This is from the OPI Xbox collection that just came out this year. It's a beautiful pink. It is opaque in two coats. It has a fantastic formula. And I will say there are a lot of pinks like this out there. It's pretty close to Susie Nell's New Orleans. It's not exact to a lot of other ones that they have, but it's very, very close. This one's just new and fresh and I love it. And if you're looking for a good pink, this is a really fantastic one to pick up. And I just love a good bubblegum pink this time of year. And then this is Plant One On Me. This is from the Morgan Taylor In Full Bloom collection that came out this spring. It is beautiful. It's like this nice, soft, rosy, a little bit deeper polish. It's just very subtle, a bit muted, and I really like it for spring. I just think they're doing a really good job with their collections. If you haven't tried Morgan Taylor, there's a few in here that I have from this last collection that I think are really worth picking up if you really want to try the brand. You can get these colors in the Gelish brand too, just so that you're aware. But this is a really beautiful pink, and you'll see it compared to the other ones, just how muted and soft it is when I show that comparison coming up here in a second. So here's that comparison. So polished and poised you can see is a little bit more muted. It doesn't have a lot of white in the base compared to like Frida Rome, which does have a lot of white in the base. And then we get a little bit darker with Backseat Besties. That's a little more mid-toned, still cool toned. And then Racing for Pink is slightly bright and a little bit warmer than those other pinks. So you can see that there. And then Plant One On Me, like I mentioned, is really soft and muted and dusty and just really nice and different for spring. So I thought that gave you a really good variety of pinks to choose from depending on what you like, but I love them all. <laughs> I wish I had enough time to wear all these this spring, but I'm definitely not going to, obviously, because there's so many, unless I'm like switching them every day. <laughs> but anyway, I was just wanted to give a good variety for you guys. So now I'm going to get into a couple darker pinks. And then we have Big Bow Energy. You have to have a nice, little bit deeper toned, brighter pink, especially as we get a little closer to summer. And even in summer, this would be a good summer color too. You're gonna notice there's a lot of colors that maybe you would have thought I put in here in springtime that are some of my favorites, but just wait, they're gonna be there for summer because I just wanted to save them for summer because some I like better when I have a tan. There will be some that you would be surprised that I maybe didn't put in here. So anyway, this one is a beautiful, darker, bright pink. There's a ton of pinks out there, but this is just a really great one that's newer from the OPI Celebration collection last year and it really has a great formula. And then we have a Swoon in the Lagoon from the Swoon in the Lagoon collection. There's a few places to get this. I'll put a link down below where you can get this one. Most of them are available beyond polish but some of them aren't. Um, but this one's really beautiful. It's a nice pinky purple tone. Uh, it's a little bit darker than Big Spender and it's a little bit more pink than Flowerista. I have comparisons of that on my Instagram though if you want to check that out so it's a little bit different but it is kind of along the same lines as flowerista and I didn't stick that one in here this year so I stuck this one in here because it's kind of new and fun and different and I think that kind of pushed that one to side a little bit although I hate to say that because I love that polish too um, but this is a really nice one as well okay so now we're gonna get into like yellow orange and I have five of them I'm gonna have them be 
I'll also have comparisons of these next to each other so you can kind of see the difference and see which one you like the best. But they're all just really, really fantastic. So first we have Sing Songbird Alone, and this is from the new Essie Spring Collection. This is a nice muted, almost beige, pale yellow, and I just really love it. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit neutral. That whole collection, in fact, was really muted and neutral and really soft, and I really, really enjoyed it. I don't have a ton of them. Is this the only one I have from that collection? I think this is the only one I have in here, but I did like that whole collection. But this one's just really different, I think. If you like pale yellow, but you don't want it to be a little bit brighter, then you're really going to like this one because it's a little bit more neutral. And then we get into a pale yellow, which is a little bit more bright, but they're kind of similar, but it doesn't have the green undertones like Sing Song Along. I was just reminded when I pulled this out, this is my favorite pale yellow polish ever so far that anyone has released. It's just beautiful. It's from the Essie Gel Couture line. It's like my favorite nail polish line. And it just is a little bit curly -ish. It's going to build up in three coats, but it's just a really nice, soft, pale yellow, which is perfect for springtime. And it's just beautiful. And then this one's so special. This is filling Willy. So now I'm kind of leaning into the orange category. I don't wear a lot of yellows. And this is kind of in between yellow and orange. And it is beautiful. I think this is from the spring 2020 collection, but I always type it in. So I'll let you know if that's wrong. But I believe I wrote down 2022, but obviously I miswrote because I think it's 2020. I love this one. There's another polish that I love so much. It's like the darker version of it. This is really bright. Souls on Fire. So this is like my favorite spring that's kind of orange. And then we get into summer and Souls on Fire is like, pow, I love it so, so much. <laughs> so that will be my summer favorites. But I just kind of think of these two together because I feel like they're both really special. I'm just always going to have this in my favorites. And if I forget, please tell me. <laughs> because <laughs> I might, um, but it's just so, so good. You have to have this polish. It is so good. I don't know how it is on pale skin. Will you guys let me know? I, I imagine it might be a little hard to wear if you have pale skin, but I'd be curious to know your thoughts on that because I have medium skin tone and I feel like it just really pops on me and I really love it. So I'd kind of like to know how it looks on pale skin, but it is beautiful. And then we have Tangerine Heat. This is from the Cali Dreams collection from last year. That collection was really fantastic. <laughs> I had to really make myself not put all of them in there, but this is really one that stood out. I just really love these orange colors. They're a little bit bright, yet still a little bit soft. And as you get a tan, these are going to be even more pretty. It's just so good. And then we have Trading Paint from the Xbox collection. This is going a little bit deeper. It has maybe just a touch of pink, but not too much. And I really, really like this orange. I don't have a ton of OPI in here. I have a lot of Essie for this spring. I really guess I gravitate toward their spring colors. But this one really stood out to me. I really, really love it. I'm going to show you that comparison here so you can see them side by side, so you can see that Sing Songbird Along it does have that kind of green undertone. It's a little bit more muted. And then at Tillier at the Bay, um, I didn't mention, but that's from the Sunset Surrey 2020 collection. And that one is just kind of your basic, really soft, pale yellow. And then Filling Well, as you can see, that just little hint of orange in there. And Tangerine Heat gets a little bit darker and is more orange. And then Trading Paint, of course, is the darkest, which is kind of more a true orange with maybe just a touch of pink. There they are all together. Hopefully that is helpful for you guys. Okay, now now we're going to get into like the light coral colors. Of course, I had to add this one, Couture Curator. I have had this in my favorites for such a long time. This was the first Essie Gel Couture polish that I tried and I fell in love with it. It's beautiful. It's a little bit lighter and softer than like Beachy Keen and Excuse Me Sir and all those kinds. So it has a little bit more white in it. So it kind of sets itself apart from the whole shade range that Essie has of polishes like this. So it is a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter and you'll see that in the comparison picture, but this is like my favorite thing is like peach and it was the first one I tried of one of my favorite nail polish lines and so it's just special to me. I'll always have it in here too. And here is that one that I was mentioning. This is Beachy Keen and I fell in love with this one too. There's actually a ton of polishes like this <laughs> out there. Let's see like yeah like Van de Gogh, excuse me sir, um, quite a few. Anyway this is one of my favorites. This is from the Sunny Business 2020 collection as well. That collection was fantastic. I could probably stick that whole one in here too. <laughs> at least for spring and summer, but this one's just perfect. 
And this one's fairly close to the other one. This is Orly Cotton Candy. This has been a favorite of mine for like years, probably like seven or eight years. I haven't talked about it in a while. I used to talk about it quite a bit and I thought I'd pull it out again to just kind of re-remember it and bring it back. It's kind of the same as Peachy Keen. You will see in the comparison, they're very close. This is maybe just a touch softer, not as bright and just a touch lighter, but you're probably not even gonna be able to tell that in the comparison picture. Hopefully you can. So if you're an Orly lover, get Cotton Candy it's beautiful and if you like Essie get Beachy Keen or get them both if you want them both uh, but it's beautiful and then going a little bit darker this is Susie is my avatar speaking of just going a little bit darker these shades that I did for comparisons I was like I'm definitely gonna do a Manny of like lighter peach corals to darker because it looks so pretty in my comparison picture but this is just a little bit darker than the last one that I talked about and it's got a really nice formula this is new from the Xbox collection that they just released this spring summer and it is so fantastic it's not super original there's a ton of colors kind of out there like this they're not all exactly the same probably but they're very close but this one just has a really great formula and I love it and then going darker I haven't talked about this one in so long it's one of my favorite butter London polishes this is Trout Pout and it is beautiful. So Beyond Polish sent this to me and I hadn't pulled it out in a while. And so I finally decided to pull it out. I just hadn't gotten around to it. I had this polish years ago and I gave it to somebody. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. I was trying to like downsize at that point, but it's just a little bit darker and has a little more red than those ones that I just talked about. And it is beautiful. I'll probably put this on next after this one. It's just such a good color. This will also be good for summer too. These are a little bit more expensive. They're about $18. You can get it there at Beyond Polish and use my code if you want to. And I'll put my code here. It is just such a good polish. And I think paying that price for just a few Butter London polishes, is just good <laughs> because they're just a little bit luxurious their formula is really nice so try it okay so now we're gonna go into like the purple lavender lilacs This is the lightest of them all. It has a very strong white base, but it's just a touch of purple in it. It's Hue is the Artist. This is perfect for spring or summer. It just really pops, and I love that it just has that hint of purple, and people might look at it and just think it's white, but you know it has that hint of purple in it. It's so nice and crisp and makes you look tan in the spring or the summer, and you just need this one. So this is from the Spring Summer Mexico City 2020 collection, and it is a gem. So going a little bit darker and adding some more pink is Natural Movement from the OPI Nature Strong line. I love that line. It hasn't been talked about enough. I don't know why people aren't talking about it, but I just love the top coat. I love the polishes. It's a natural line. They just really have some fantastic shades. There's going to be a handful of them that I talk about in my summer favorites because they're just really bright, fun colors. But this is really nice, soft pink. It's got a beautiful formula and it's going to be opaque in two coats. Then going even darker from that one, this is Run Wildflower from the Movin' and Groovin' collection. This was a Target exclusive collection this year and it is limited edition. And if you didn't grab any of these, that whole collection is good. Like if you're starting out, get that whole collection. I just think it's a good start for like spring and summer for your collection if you're just starting out. And this one is just beautiful. It's a little bit darker. It does pop a little bit. They all have a little bit of brightness to them in that collection. And this one is just so pretty. And then we have Achievement Unlocked. It's kind of that same tone, but this one has a little bit more purple in it. This is from the new Xbox collection that just recently came out for this spring and summer. I really like it. There's a lot of colors kind of similar to this one, but this is fresh and new. And when I compared it to all the other lavenders that I pulled out, this one just really stood out to me. Maybe it will stand out to you. I think it helps to look at comparisons to see which ones you like better than others. And hopefully that's helpful in seeing that. So you can be like, oh, I like the pink more than the purple. But that's what I had to do to narrow it down. But I did kind of keep most of them in here, especially the new ones because I was just really excited about them. And so this next one is Orly Province at Dusk. And this is the same thing. This is maybe a little, there. it's pretty similar to that last one. It maybe has a little bit more purple, but the formula is amazing. It's got that Crelly-ish formula, which I love. It's kind of like a mix between jelly, which is a little more sheer, and then cream. So it builds up nicely in two coats, but it's gonna be a little bit sheer in one coat. But it is so fantastic. I couldn't decide which one to take out. So I just kept 
this one and achievement unlocked so then we have spring into action ever since this collection came out the nature strong collection i've been waiting to pull this one out and now that spring is finally here i'm pulling it out and i'm super excited about it. this is also going to be one that will be really fun to wear in the summertime because it's just got a nice brightness to it and it's a little bit purple i think with all these five polishes that i've talked about they all get a little bit more purple and you'll be able to see that here so let's look at that comparison of all these five that i've talked about so far so you have natural movement which is light lightest and has a little bit of white in its base so it's going to have a little bit of brightness to it and it's more pink and then you're going to move on to red and wildflower and that one's more of a pinky purple and then achievement unlocked leans more purple but still has some pink in it and then you get to province at dusk and it's going to have a little bit of purple in it and then the spring into action is going to be a little bit bright and has purple and maybe even just like a little hint of blue so I just love them all and I really couldn't decide <laughs> which one to keep so I just kept them all and a few of you messaged me on Instagram and were like just keep them all in there they're all worthy <laughs> so I'll let you decide which one you want to get out of all that or you can get them all <sighs> these always kind of wear me out there's so many polishes to talk about now we're going into the greens I've got 10 greens, you guys. You know I love green. Okay, Chilato, I have to bring it in every year. I've loved this ever since it came out. When did it come out? I can't remember. I'll put it here <laughs> so you guys know, but it is so good. It's like a little bit of yellow and green and it has some white in it and it's bright and fun, but it's also not too crazy. Also, the good news is, is this was discontinued apparently, even though you could still find it, <laughs> but they brought it back this year. And so you're gonna be able to find this with that newer brush. And I think I'm gonna order one and get that new brush because I think it's just perfect in the application. I usually have to do three coats with this and I'll be curious to see if that changes. It probably won't because it's a yellow and that's usually what the case is with yellows. You have to do three coats, but I'll be curious to see. So bringing it back, even though it's still kind of here and you can find it. So it is beautiful. It's been a favorite of mine for a super long time. Then we have Take a Walk from Essie Gel Couture. I kind of forgotten about this one. There's quite a few polishes out there like this one. There's even one that came out for OPI. Yeah, I don't have that in here it kind of chose between the two and that was really hard I like that one too what is that one called Ugh. Ugh, I can't remember off the top of my head I'll put it here but anyway I love this one it's so good and then going guru I can't stop talking about this one just because I love that it's a little bit lime but it's a little bit cooler toned you can still get it on Amazon I think it is gonna be a little bit harder to find but I do have one that's kind of close that I'm gonna talk about next and that one might be hard to find too we'll see but going guru is so good and the one I'm talking about is the one I actually have on my nails and this is one that I just recently picked up this is from the Hawaii collection but I didn't buy that entire collection I just bought a few because I wasn't buying a ton at that time I never picked this one up but this one is kind of close to that it's a little bit brighter than this cost me a mint which I love which I almost stuck in here but I kind of took it out because I'm excited about this one that one's a little softer this one has more of a brightness to it and it's kind of close to going guru but this one's a little bit less cool toned I feel like I'm extra chatty about about this green right now but it's beautiful and I'm excited about it because it's newer and so this kind of pushed out this cost me a mint even though I like that one <laughs> don't forget about it it's a good one so this was fun it's just fun for me to pick up this new one and then I have mint candy apple I picked up a new bottle of this it's like a cult favorite from Essie there has been a couple versions of this one this is the more greenish version even though it's more blue than the greens that I've been talking about but they did have a blue version of it and you probably can't tell but I do have the blue one as well and I think this was just kind of like a miss I was gonna say misprint like a miss batch or something and that went out there and so some of you are gonna have this one but they did go back to their original one which is this more green one but compared to these other greens like I said it's definitely more blue but it's beautiful I picked it up because it has the newer brush in it and it just applies so amazing I have a reel of it on my Instagram page and it just goes on and glides on so nicely and if you haven't tried this color in a while because you were frustrated with that skinny brush definitely pick it up I think a lot of people didn't even know that Essie came out with a newer brush and they did like two or three years ago and it's amazing 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 Okay, so now we're gonna go into some darker greens. And one I was really excited about this spring was Artist Garden from Orly. It's this beautiful one. It's a little bit soft, it has a curly-ish formula. It's a little more muted than these other kind of minty ones that I've been talking about. And I really like it because it's a little bit different. It 
Kind of reminds me of a sage green, but it's not really super sage, but it's a little bit different. <laughs> so that's why I like it so much. So this is from the Impressions collection that came out this year. And then we have Natural Collection. This is from the Swoon and the Lagoon collection that came out this year. I really liked that one too. This is a really nice neutral muted kind of sage green. It was really into sage greens like this fall and winter. I'm still kind of digging it and I feel like this is a good spring version of it. Especially like early spring, I think this one's really nice as we get into to like full-on spring I want something a little bit more bright and fun but this is a good early spring it's really beautiful and it has a fantastic formula it's almost opaque in one coat but I would definitely do two and it's just a really great one and I love this new one from the Olive and June Spring Collection, the one that just came out this year. This is Cucumber Sandwich. I love the names for that collection. They're so adorable. This one's really different. It's kind of like a softer version of First Timer from Essie. That one's a little bit brighter, but it's the same kind of color tone, which I really love because it's a little bit cooler toned. I am definitely excited to wear this one. And then I really fell in love with this one from Morgan Taylor in Full Bloom Spring Collection for this year. Like I said, that was a great one. I have a couple favorites and I almost had another one that I added but I didn't is that really light pink one that had a little bit of shimmer in it in fact it's right here I almost did this one pick me please and look it was begging for me it's like pick me please and I didn't pick it now I feel bad <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to this one. So this is called Bloom Service and it's a really kind of blue toned, like I almost was like, should I put this in the blue category or the green? But it's definitely a little bit more green. And that's what I love about it because sometimes it looks blue and sometimes it looks green. It's a little bit darker. And I think it's a good kind of transition color from winter to spring. And so I stuck it in here because it's beautiful. And then we have Along for the Vibe. This is so good. So good. This is from the Moving and Grooving collection. I'm telling you guys, that collection is so good. And I feel bad for those of you who can't get it outside the U.S. So us U.S. people, you need to get it because we're lucky to even have it. It's so good. How many times can I say good? I'm sorry I keep saying it. I'm definitely going to wear it in the summer too because it's really bright, but I couldn't wait. <laughs> I had to stick it in my spring because the color tone of it is so perfect. Not much else to say about it. I just love it. So let's look at those five together because I did do a comparison of them all in a row. So Artist Garden, as you can see, is a little bit more muted and soft. And then you can see how neutral Natural Connection is here. And then we have Cucumber Sandwich, which is a little bit cooler toned. And then we have Bloom Service, which you can see is a little bit deeper, kind of muted and more blue. And then the bright, beautiful along for the vibe, which gets me super excited for summer, but I'm still wanting to wear it for spring. Okay, now we're gonna talk about blues. I have five blues and I have them on my nails so you can see them too. So I'll do that comparison after I talk about them. And the first one I wanna talk about is this beautiful light kind of periwinkle blue called Studded Silhouette. I can't remember what collection this is from, but of course I'll put it here. I don't think I wrote that down. I kind of threw this in here last minute because it caught my eye and I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I love those colors. I know I've talked about it before, but it's been a minute. It's just beautiful and light and airy and perfect for me for spring and I love Love these kind of periwinkle shades. A lot of ones that I wear a little bit darker and mid-tone, but this is nice and soft and light, which is fun, fun, fun for spring. And then Bikini Sotini. I fell in love with this one after it had been out for years. I'd always pick it up and put it on and it would just frustrate me putting it on with that skinny brush. And I was like, why do people like this polish so much? I really just don't love it that much. And then I picked up a new bottle with a new brush and I just fell in love with it. I love it and I can't get away from it. <laughs> it's a really nice bright brush bright blue and it has a little bit of subtle silver shimmer in there but you really can't see that on the nail but it does kind of give it a brightness and it's just special and beautiful and it's a cult favorite of SE. I just love it with a new brush. It's fantastic. And then we have one that's pretty close to that one. This is Blue Iris from the Orly Impressions collection that just came out this year. I think I have like three or four from that in this video. It's maybe just a little bit softer than Bikini Sotini and maybe just a little bit more purple, but I, I couldn't leave it out because I like it probably just as much as Bikini Sotini, but they're both really special and both a little bit different. So if you want one that's maybe a little softer and not such kapow, then you're probably gonna like this one a little bit better. And then Flare for Fun from the Moving and Grooving Collection. Another one, see this one has a little bit of brightness, but it's also a little bit muted. It's a little bit gray. So I think this is a good kind of transition color too, as we get from winter to spring. And I just liked it. It's kind of a unique shade of blue. It's a little bit different. I don't wear a ton of blue, but this is a blue that I can really get behind. And then I usually, like I said, I don't usually wear a ton of blue, but this is a warm 
warm tone blue. This is one of my favorites from last spring. This is from the Kelly Dreams collection from China Glaze and it's a little warmer and it just is really bright and it just made me so happy and I just felt so cheery. <laughs> last spring when it was kind of a crappy year, this cheered me up. So I had to include it this year as well. And it's a little bit different than these other ones and you can see that here. I'm going to show them to you all on my hand. So first we have Studded Silhouette and you can see that one is a little bit lighter and softer and just beautiful and spring-like. And then we have Bikini Zotini, which is a little bit bright. And you can see how close it is to Blue Iris, but they are a little bit different. Hopefully you can see that purple tone in Blue Iris. And then we have Flare for Fun. You can see how muted that one is. And then you can see how warm tone that China Glaze Shore Feels Good polish is. So they're all just beautiful, a little bit different. And so I included them all. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about purples. I guess they're kind of pinky purples, but there's one that I've had that's a favorite for a long time. It's a Splash of Grenadine. It's a Corelli polish. So you're gonna really have to build this up to three coats, but I just love it. It's a little bit soft. It's not gonna have a huge like impact, but it's just there and beautiful. It's one of my favorite Essie polishes. I think it might not be too hard to find. I'll put a link down to it below if I find it. And then of course we have this. I will include this in my summer favorites too, I'm sure, because I love it. I actually wore it this winter and I liked it in winter too. <laughs> so I'll wear this anytime. This is my favorite pick out of all the new releases last year for 2021. It is Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes. It's from their, what was the name of that collection? I'll put it up because I can't remember, but it is just so good. It's this nice like purpley pink and it has a brightness to it and nothing compares to it. I'm telling you nothing, nothing that I've seen. I don't know, maybe I'll really try to find something that compares to it, but it's just beautiful. Everybody needs this one. If you haven't gotten it yet, maybe I need to post about it more on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually posted about it a lot, so I don't think I could post about it more, but it is beautiful. It's a must have. And then one that's pretty similar, but it's different, is this new one from the Alvin June Spring Collection for this year, and this is Jam Please. It is so good. It's a little bit more purple, a little darker, and it has the like, same kind of brightness to it, and I just love it. I wore it last week. I had it on before this, Manny, and I kind of wanted to put this back on. Obviously, you can tell what kind of color tones I like. I think that's really what I gravitate towards, but I love these cool cooler toned pink leaning purples. It's so good. And then I always have to throw in a few reds and I was really, really craving the pinky reds. And so I just was like, I'm just going to look and see what catches my eye. I'm going to pull it out. And like, this is what I'm craving. This is what I want to wear. And I haven't worn this for a long time. And it's a really beautiful, really pink leaning coral. It is so pretty. This is, she's a bad Mufaletta. I didn't even look to see, I think it's from the New Orleans collection. I can't remember what year. I hope it's easy to find. It's just a nice, pink red, which I really am just craving right now are pink reds. Maybe I'll wear this next. I don't know. I can't decide. Okay. Another one that I pulled out that I haven't talked about in a while. And this is kind of a pink leaning red too. Not as pink as that one, but this is Rock the Runway from Essie Gel Couture. And this is one of my favorites. I haven't talked about it in a little while, but it's a really fantastic red. It's one of my favorite reds to wear. So I don't really have a lot to say about red because I don't wear it a ton, but I do know that I love this one. Maybe you'll love it okay. too. That was a lot. Those leave me so tired, you guys. I'm gonna have to go like lay down for a minute. <laughs> I don't know why those make me so tired, but they do. Okay, so hopefully that was fun. I feel like it was more different than I thought it was gonna be from last year. So hopefully you guys liked that. I know you guys like these kind of chatty videos. Some of you probably don't, so sorry about that. But I think most of you who follow me do. So hopefully you found that super fun. I found it super fun and now I'm excited to get out there and wear these. I'm gonna have to wear like a new one every day. <laughs> to get through them all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for your support and your comments. I've enjoyed getting to know you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.